Hiya, my name is Kaz and welcome to the website Positive Art MS, a website dedicated to looking at multiple sclerosis in a positive way. Um, what you'll see on the website is a number of things about where, uh, multiple sclerosis and how it affects people and basically just some general information. What I aim to do through uh, these series of videos is probably address a few topics that's possibly not easily uh, wrote about or easily read but there's some t topics that's probably easy to talk about and easy to describe so what i do through these uh, videos is give you a few hints and tips things that i've learned experiences i've got and basically hopefully just share a bit of knowledge okay um, in this particular video what i'm going to talk about is cramps and spasms i mean i suppose most of us have all had cramps and spasms at some point or another i mean it doesn't just affect you with multiple sclerosis it affects a wide range of people usually i mean athletes and uh, people involved in sport i mean for those of you who've probably seen sport or football or something you'll, you'll see sometimes that a player goes to the floor the lying back and then one of the colleagues or another player comes along and the, uh, lift the player's foot up and just kind of press down so they're kind of pressing down at the ball of the foot and kind of pulling the ankle towards them in a way it's almost like a standing motion because you when you if you imagine when you stand up and just to use as an ex uh, my right hand as an example of the foot when you're standing up on some ground you kind of the ball of the foot's uh, on the floor and your ankle's obviously going up so it's kind of almost resembling a standing motion or a walking motion and this eventually or seems to make the cramp or spasm disappear However, obviously um, the reason I'm addressing this is because it affects people with multiple sclerosis as well and more so sometimes because for some reason we seem to get a lot of cramps and spasms. The best way I've found of um, alleviating the pain or getting over it, I mean sometimes there's, there's a number of, well there's two things that you can do in my opinion. You can sit there and grin, and, well not grin, and just kind of bear it. Probably take, sometimes it could take a few seconds, sometimes you could be there for a minute. Or what you can do is you can do something about it. Because there's not always someone always there when you need them and you can't always reach things when you need to reach them. So sometimes it's, it can be a bit difficult. But what I've found is when you are suffering from a cramp, if you're in a position like say for example I got a cramp now while I sat down, I'd just stand up. So just to use the example before, you stand up with this bit being the ball of your foot, this bit being the ankle and this representing the ground. So you're just kind of standing on it. So you're almost like stretching your stretching your calf or stretching your thigh. And as you do it, the pain seems to go away. I don't know if this is medical or if it's just just, to what, just what we're doing or if it's an example of what the footballers do, but, what you, but you're doing it, doing, it all, doing it in a standing up motion. So like I say, as you, as you stand on it, it seems to make the cramp go away. Sometimes what I've also noticed is um, Sometimes it's in the middle of the night, you wake up in a bang in the middle of the night, it's like, ow, I've got a cramp, and your calf's just stretching. And sometimes you're in no position to do anything because all you can just do is feel your pain. I mean, your body's that fatigued, that tired, and sometimes it's just the nature of the condition. You can't just bounce out of bed and kind of alleviate your cramp, and you don't fancy wake, you, know, you kind of knock somebody up at the next day. Uh, so once the leap of the next of you, next next to you, wake up by a bit of an elbow, bit of an elbow, or a yelp of scream or something. But what I'm trying to say is that if you get it in bed, then there's a, a try. What I've tried nowadays is try to use the same tactic, but when you're lying in bed. So obviously, when you're lying in bed, you're lying down, and assuming you're on your back. What I do is I kind of get my knee. So you grab your knee and pull it towards you. So if you're lying back, you're pulling your knee towards you. And that will bring your foot closer to you. And then what I try to do is put your foot on the bed and use the same tactic. So if, you're, if your foot's on the bed, you do the same thing where you're putting the ball of your foot on the bed. I mean, the bed is not solid ground, obviously, so it's just going to go in. But that's probably the best way I can do it. So you kind of put your foot on the bed and just kind of do it on, push your leg almost as if it's as if you're trying to stand up so towards the lower lower part of your leg pushing your foot down and pushing your calf forward so it's almost that standing motion and hopefully what I, from from my own experiences it has alleviated the pain and it has got better because you, sometimes like say when you wake up in the middle of the night you know you can't just bounce out of bed and stuff because like i say you just can't do it and it's not possible to do but if you've got pain you want to get rid of pain and that's the ways i they're the ways i've found to get rid of the pain and it works pretty well um, in terms of general information on cramps, from what I've heard or from what I've read, and like I say, I'm not a medical professional of any sort or anything, it's due to a lack of, um, well, it's basically dehydration and a lack of salt in your body. So I'd say consider, I'm not saying go 
uh, go into the kitchen now and put loads of tons of salt down you but what I'm saying is that make sure it's part of your diet and obviously dehydration I suppose that's just good common sense isn't it drinking a lot of water will help so if like I say especially if, it, uh, if it's a hot day outside and you're like I say you're sweating you've got to bear that in mind so make sure that you're carrying water around with you and making sure that you're basically just looking after yourself but yeah that was my hints and tips on cramps hopefully you found it useful as I said, I'm not a medical professional and I'm no, no expert in the field. However, it's just some experience I've shared with other people and they found it useful. And hopefully, um, if you're watching this, you found it useful too. Thank you very much.